everybody. Welcome back to Real Good Pilates. I'm Michelle and today I have for you a super quick ab focused reformer workout. So we're going to get all up in the core and get a nice quick burn going for when you are short on time. All right, so we can start anywhere from a single red spring all the way up to even two red springs. I'm gonna be right in the middle, kind of a sweet spot on a red and a blue. Um, you decide what feels best for you. And then we're gonna lay down on our backs, have your straps on your shoulder rests. Headrests can be adjusted for your comfort. And then we're gonna get into a little mid-back series here to get our abs going. So get the straps in your hands. Bend your elbows, decide if you wanna be imprinted or neutral, whatever feels better to you today. Imprint is a little bit more challenging to maintain. Elbows are gonna be on the mat. Lift your legs up to tabletop one by one. So already the abs are working to support us here. All right, now extend your arms to straight. This is gonna be our starting position. Knees are directly on top of your hips. If they're further from you, this is more challenging. If you need to give your hip flexors a little rest, you can bring the knees closer to you. Now, we're gonna breathe in and float our arms up so the wrists are directly over the shoulders, and then exhale to return down. Inhale and float up. Exhale to pull down to the mat. Yeah, so just kind of feel this out. See if you need to make an adjustment to your springs or anything else about your positioning. The goal is to maintain the spinal position that you started with the whole time. All right, now next layer, if you're ready to add it, is gonna be a nod of the chin and flexing the spine as the arms push forward. Return to the mat to lower down. Exhale, curl. Yes, if lifting the head up is not on the books for you today, it's all good. Leave it down and continue. You'll still get plenty of good work here. Good, now the next time you curl up, we're gonna add an extra challenge. Stay up with your body, and you're gonna lift your arms up and down, maintaining that flexion you've got in the spine. Lift and lower. Let's do two more. It can be a smaller range of the arms. Just try to maintain the flexion through the upper back. And then you're gonna lay your body down and set your feet on the bar. Whew, so good. <laughs> totally different when our head can't lower down. Good, now we're gonna repeat that in a different positioning of the arms. We're gonna start in the same start position though. So take the arms by your sides, lift your legs up. Now turn your palms in to face your hips and we're gonna open to a T and then close down. So it's an inhale and then exhale. Yes, in this position, it's much harder to keep the ribs connected. So as the arms go out, don't let the ribs flare off of the mat. All right, now just like before, start adding in the extras as you feel ready. When the arms lower, that's when the chin will nod and our spine will lift off and then lower down. So good, always bringing that chin towards the chest to anticipate that flexion. Let's do two more. Now on your next one, just like before, keep your body here and continue with the arms. Open and close. Inhale and exhale, only open the arms as far as you can keep your curl forward. Don't let those shoulder blades lay back. Last one, and then you can open and release all the way down. Whew. So good, you guys. All right, next we're gonna go into arm circles. So bend the elbows, reach the arms by the hips. We'll start in our usual start position here. Now you're gonna open the arms to your T, raise the arms to the ceiling, and then push forward. So inhale to open and lift, exhale to pull the arms down. Very good. Now we're gonna start adding in some leg extension if you're feeling ready for it. So as I lower my arms, I'm gonna nod my chin and curl up, also extending the legs. If you feel ready, open the arms to a T to lay your body down. We do that again. So the arms, the legs, the head, everything goes forward together. As the arms open, I bend and lay my head down. Let's do three more. Exhale, reach. Inhale to lower. Last two, try to coordinate it all together, making it flow seamlessly. Good, all right, rest down. Whew. 
okay, now we just need to reverse the circle of the arms. So get the arms back by the hips, tabletop the legs. We're gonna lift the arms up first. Take a breath in, open to a T, and pull the hands to your side. So we inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull down. So good. All right, once you've got your circle pattern, down, the head can lift and or the legs can straighten. You could choose to leave your head down and just focus on the arms and the legs. So it's when the arms come to the hips, that's when we add the lift and the reach. Arms to the ceiling is when we lower down. So curl and then lower. So good, let's do three more here. Reach those legs as low as you can stabilize. Keep the ankles tight together. So good, last one. And then rest all the way down. Whew. Amazing, amazing. All right, shake your knees out side to side. No ab workout is really ever complete without a set of hundreds. So that's what we're gonna finish out with here with our hands in the straps. Pull your elbows to your sides, lift your legs up. Now, I'm gonna start us at the kind of base level and layer up the challenge. So you pick and choose what extras you wanna add on here. So we're gonna take a breath in. As we exhale, I want you to straighten your arms, lift your head up into your flexion, and start pumping your hands for your hundred. So like there's little tiny drums under your hands. You're gonna breathe in for five and out for five counts. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Now head down is a perfectly good modification if your neck is feeling too strained. Next addition to advance the challenge is to straighten your legs when you exhale, bend your legs when you inhale. Out, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five. Good, you guys, out and in. Now, the next layer is to leave your legs straight. Try it out and see how it goes. Pumping the hands, leaving the legs long. Let's do two more sets. You decide if you wanna leave them straight or not. Last one. Now come to tabletop and hold. Crunch up even higher. Bend your elbows and lay your body down. Whew, amazing. All right, set your straps down. Come all the way up. Whew. All right, there's our abs. Okay, let's, we're gonna go on to some kneeling ab work now. So decrease your springs. So we're just gonna go to one single heavy red spring. So kneel down facing one side. You're gonna come up off of your heels, have your knees and ankles all the way together. That's very important. You wanna kneel down pretty close to your shoulder rests, and then your nearest hand is gonna go on the foot bar. Now as I grab the foot bar, I'm gonna keep my body in a straight line and lean over so that my top knee actually comes off the carriage to stack onto my bottom knee. Okay, if that doesn't happen, I can't be in a straight line. I end up being kind of curved if both my knees are down. So very crucial, top shin balances on the bottom shin. All right, now your top hand can just go on your hip. You're gonna squeeze your glutes and your inner thighs to find this nice open position through the hips. Now, as I breathe out, I'm gonna push with the top of my shoulder to move my carriage away. And then as I exhale, I'm gonna squeeze from underneath my armpit to come back. So I push out and then I pull. Yeah, so this can be kind of a funny position. It's a little bit different since our knees are kind of the leader. They're the furthest point out. I almost like to think that I'm pushing the carriage out with my bottom knee. That's it, and both sides of the waist stay equally long. Good, couple more times. And then this other arm is getting in like a shoulder raise. So we get work for the top and then also underneath the armpit for the lats. So good. All right, now push out there and stay. Now we're gonna move the waistline. I'm gonna drop my hip towards the carriage and then I'm gonna lift my hips up and pull the carriage underneath me. So I'm side bending in both directions. I drop and then I squeeze. Good, I stretch out the bottom side of my waist and then the top side of my waist, so good. So now the shoulder is just maintaining its position and I'm getting this movement through my side body, droop 
and then back up. Let's do three more. Really squeeze this bottom rib to hip as we come in. Last two. So nice, last one. And then we can relax, good. All right, let's turn around. Try that on the other side. So same setup, knees and ankles together. Grab your foot bar. You wanna have your hand slightly forward on the foot bar, so it's angled slightly forward of your body. Squeeze the glutes, hand to the hip, and then we start pushing and pulling. Yeah, ideally your thumb is on the top side of the foot bar if you feel secure enough. Yeah, that'll keep your wrist in an even better position. Good, keep your glutes super active so it's the whole body working together. Good, let's do two more. Inhale to push, exhale to pull, last one. Now let's push out there and hold. You're gonna maintain the shoulder in its position and move your waist. You're gonna side bend and pull the carriage under you and then dip the hip towards the floor. So I side bend and squeeze and then it's a reverse side bend to droop the pelvis down. Yes, so we're getting this lengthening and shortening through the sides of the waist. That's it, but if we lose stability at the shoulder, we've disconnected from everything. So we find stability here, and then mobility through the spine. Last two. Last one. Oh, so, so good. All right, now stay on your one red spring. If you feel like you need more support or if you start feeling this in your lower back, add on maybe a quarter or a half spring, a little bit extra, okay? Lighter is definitely harder on the abdominals. So we're gonna set our hands on the foot bar, have our feet back against the shoulder rests, press the hips forward, and we're gonna go into a long stretch, kind of a prep down on our knees. So the glutes are engaged, my hips are open. Now we're just gonna move from the shoulders to push the carriage away, and then I return my chest over the bar. So I inhale, and then exhale. Very good, push, and then pull. So I'm in this kind of kneeling plank position, and the only thing moving is my shoulder. Everything else stays stable and connected. So good, you guys, couple more. Press and return. Let's do three more, push, pull. That's it, keep the glutes engaged, two. And last one. Ah. Oh. Very good. Okay, now we're gonna try that up in a full plank position. If it's not happening, drop back to your knees. Now, I like to do this one with my headrest all the way up. That way I can kind of bring my feet closer together and rest the ball of my foot against the headrest. If you prefer to keep your feet wider against either shoulder rest, that's fine too. Feet together, we get a little inner thigh action, which is fun. So you can choose, keep the feet on the shoulder blocks or bring them closer together and put the toes on the headrest. That also sets you further back, making it even harder. So, some food for thought. Okay, now I want you to lift your knees up into your plank, shoulders are over the hands, and then we do that same movement, ooh, just in a much longer lever. Yes, and a much more challenging position. Push and pull, good, squeeze the glutes. Try to stay in that long dart position and just saw from the shoulders. Good, inhale and exhale. Let's do three more, push and pull, two more. Last one. Whew. All right, softly set your knees down on the carriage. Sit your hips back over your heels and drop your chest through your arms. Oh, take a breath or two here. Very good. All right, slowly tuck your tail under. Roll your spine to come all the way up. And with that, we are all finished with our super quick ab-focused reformer workout. I hope you enjoyed it. I loved having you. And I can't wait for you to join me back here for our next reformer workout very soon. So I will see you then. Bye.